The last Army Air Corps Mark 9 Lynx helicopter has been given its upgrade so it can cope with the extreme conditions in Afghanistan. The work's taken around two and a half years and cost £132 million. The helicopters are already making an impact in Helmand. Toby Sadler reports. The Lynx is a survivor. First flown 40 years ago, it's continued to evolve. But missions in the extreme conditions of the Afghan summer have proved too much. The combination of height and heat keeping it grounded. But not anymore. The upgrade program of the Army's 22 aircraft is now complete. The last one handed over at a ceremony in Yeovil today. To take it into places like Afghanistan, which is a, a really severe environment to operate helicopters, um, the, the 9 Alpha allows us to do that. And clearly, if you can do it in Afghanistan, where you've got high mountains and severe temperatures, you can probably do it in most other parts of the world. So it is a quantum capability change. The crews using the upgraded aircraft in Afghanistan say they love it. They put this video together to prove just how much. Yeah, it's a, it's a very fun aircraft because it does a fun role. It does a multitude of different things. Uh, we do uh, engaging the enemy in, in defence of, of support helicopters. We do flying in and out of the patrol bases. So we're, by mixing it up, it keeps it really interesting and it does make it a lot of fun. Well, the Mark 9 Alpha represents a marriage of old and new. This airframe is from a design dating back decades, while the engines are borrowed from the new Wildcat, a helicopter not even in service. We won't see it flying in the military until 2014. The biggest challenge is we talk about an engine change when we first launched it, but actually there is a change from the tail rotor all the way forward to the nose of the aircraft. So the, the, the programme was a massive, massive re-establishment re of, the, of the capability of this aircraft. Well, the MK9 Alpha is an upgrade. Its engine donor, the future Wildcat, is a redesign. It'll be capable of the hot and high missions in places like Afghanistan, as well as the marine operations carried out by the Royal Navy. It should be ready for action in two to three years' time. Toby Sadler, Forces News, Yeovil.